the only four dating tips you need to nail a hot date. In this video, we're gonna teach you the number one thing that guys screw up on dates. We're gonna teach you the number one and the number two things that can make it easy, almost effortless for you to easily get second dates and sex. And it's gonna teach you how to look super smooth and confident with a beautiful woman, even when you're not, you haven't had a date or sex in ages and you really like this girl. So if you get a date with a girl and you really, really like, there's just four things you need to do and do well to make it a huge success. Number one is to have a solid date plan. When I ask guys on, on, on the webinars and seminars I do, do you guys have a date plan? Do you know what a date plan is? 95% of guys have no clue. This is pretty much the highest ROI activity in terms of you spending a very small amount of effort and getting absolutely gargantuan outsized results. I'm James with Social Coach. Since 2006, we've been helping men over 35 easily attract the women they really want by sitting on dates with our female trainers and giving them detailed feedback about exactly what they did right and wrong. So let's give you, let me give you an example. Let's say you meet a girl you really, really like and you, you, you take her out to an expensive restaurant for dinner. You put on a nice shirt, you iron it, you wear a jacket, and then you sit opposite her, directly opposite her across the table for two and a half hours, now three or four courses, you have to, A, you have to pay for it, you have to sit and eat in front of it, which most Western men aren't up to sitting in an expensive restaurant, and you need to carry a conversation for two and a half hours. I've been a dating coach for 16 years. That shit's hard, it's, it's almost impossible to make that date successful. Yet that's what most men do when they meet a girl. They do one of these traditional, stupid date ideas that society and the movies and TV and advertisers put into our mind. Never take a girl out to dinner for a first, second or third date. Don't take her out to dinner till you've slept with her a bunch of times and given her orgasms in my point. It's very silly. It cuts your chances of a second date and a sexual relationship down, I don't even know, 90%. It's hopeless. Now, compare this to meeting her at a cool cafe somewhere. Maybe somewhere where you know the staff, you might know some of the people there. Have a quick cup of coffee. Then from there, you move somewhere else. Maybe you go walk down the street. Maybe you walk through a park or along a beach or a river or a popular shop at cool shopping strip. You take for a walk. Then you take it to another cafe or something. Or maybe you take her to a piece of grass overlooking a park or a beach. Or maybe it's some sort of a cafe or bar with a cool lounge where you can sit on a couch beside her and then on that couch you can sit look in her eyes start to do the touch escalation i'll teach you about in a second and you can really really connect with her you may even want to walk somewhere else and have another stop and then you try to make sure that the last stop is kind of near your house just in case um things get exciting and sexy so compare the sitting at an expensive restaurant for two and a half hours directly opposite her across the table paying for all this food and having to eat in front of her and continue the conversation. Imagine having a conversation walking side by side along a beach or sitting in a popular park with, you know, kids playing, you know, families, people with their dog, people playing basketball, people juggling or whatever. Just all these couples, it's so much lower pressure. Most guys have no clue what they're doing on dates. Some of the most painful moments of my life came in my 20s and early 30s when I was very, very busy working hard and working my way to becoming very successful in finance. And I didn't really leave much time for dating. And yeah, every so often, usually through work, I came across a girl who I liked, had a crush on, and I would I would go to sleep every night. And I wasn't thinking about how much money I made that day or clients' problems. I was going to sleep thinking about this girl I'd been dreaming about for three months, six months, sometimes two years, hoping I'd get a date with her, hoping I'd get a date with her, hoping I'd get a date with her. And eventually, in some cases, I did get that date. And when I went on a date, I did the same dumb, stupid shit every other guy does. I take her out to dinner. I take her to a movie. I take her to play pool, which is a lot better, but I just take her to one place and we'd stay there all night and I'd have to somehow make conversation. The other thing I did was I took girls on this super romantic picnic on the first date, which was just stupid. Again, we're stuck in one place. Insane. Most, all the dates really ended in failure, which is partially because of my low level of skill, um, but it was really because the date was never going to succeed from the beginning. If you can imagine the difference between the date I outlined to you, where it's the walking through the cafe and the beach and the, the cool bar with the, the lounge, versus just sitting plump opposite her at dinner. So not having a date plan was one of the biggest reasons behind my monumental value with women. By most standards, I was so successful in life, certainly financially and pretty good at sport, had some cool friends. How can I be so successful in life but so monumentally unsuccessful with women? One of the reasons was I just didn't know what a date plan is and I certainly didn't have a date plan. So what is a date plan? That's a subject for a comprehensive course, which I already do and a, a quick summary of another video. But in brief, don't just stay in one place. It's like, it just seems so hard to make it work. Don't be stationary. Have two, three, sometimes four locations that you go to and try to have stuff that you're walking by that you can talk about. Try to involve some walking, walk past something interesting, have parks or shopping streets or beaches or rivers or whatever, something interesting to talk about so you're not stuck for conversation. Potentially, if you go to cafes or something, try to go to places where the waiters or waitresses know you so you get some social proof. The girls can, can go back to your place not worrying about you being a rapist if it looks like you've got lots of other friends. And also a lot of people know you, she'll think you're cool and, and desirable. Again, contrary to societal expectations and values, but try not to spend much money. It just creates this uncomfortable sense of obligation on the girl to reciprocate, particularly if she's hot. Hot girls don't like guys spending a lot of money on them. It makes them feel really uncomfortable. If you think it's the second date, if you think the girl really likes you, try to make 
make sure the final stage of your date plan is somewhere near where you live so that you don't have a, a, a 90 minute drive or even a half hour drive or a long Uber ride back to your place where she's thinking about whether she wants to have sex or not. Try to make it last location and just get to your place quickly so that you know if it's gonna happen, it can happen smoothly. So that was number one, date plan. If this video gives you some value, please at the end, hit the thumbs up and hit subscribe. And, and this video, what I just gave you there, I think is incredibly valuable. I don't give anything to have this. Uh, 20 years ago. Move on to number two, use touch, eye contact, and body language to escalate towards you know, kissing and sex. If you're anything like me when I was young, you, you go on a date with a girl, when I was like young, even in my 30s I was doing this, you go on a date with a girl and you, you know, take her to dinner, you buy her flowers, you tell her she's pretty, you spend a ton of money on her, you, you iron your best shirt and wash your car and be a complete idiot. And then um, you wouldn't touch her, you just sit and politely talk to her and buy her things and tell her she's pretty and how wonderful she is. And then you, know, you wouldn't even touch her on the first date. Sometimes you wouldn't even touch her on the second date. And then the second date, you drop her home and you know, maybe you walk into the door, maybe you're sitting in your car and you go, oh, you're really pretty and yeah, I really like you, Denise. And yeah, and then you try to shove your tongue down her throat. Don't be like the 90% of men who are morons in Western society who, who deal with girls like that. You don't start by kissing her. You need to do gradual, what I call micro escalation. You start by touching her on the shoulder, then maybe the small of the back, and maybe you touch her on the knee or take a hand. You've got to be gradually increasing the touch, eye contact, body language, body positioning as the date goes on in line with how good the conversation is. We've done a whole bunch of other videos on how to touch, how to escalate, that sort of thing. So I'll make sure we, we link to them at the end or, or here so you can get more details about that. I won't just repeat it in this video. Number three, ask open-ended questions and listen. If you can just listen to hot girls, you've suddenly beaten 95% of other guys because most guys just don't listen. They're either nervous or they're trying to show off and justify to the woman why they're, they're good enough to date her, sleep with her, whatever it is. Most of you probably know open-ended questions. If you don't, open-ended question is something that generates you know, a, a concerted response, more than one word. Whereas a closed-ended question is generally gonna get a yes, no, or a one-word um, response. Uh, common example, if you ask a girl, so Jenny, tell me about the best thing you've got planned for this weekend. That's very much an open-ended question. You're trying to get detail about what she's got planned and, and, and you're trying to solicit some detail about the actual things she's got planned. Versus, uh, Jenny, so um, anything good planned for this weekend? That's a closed-ended question. She can answer it with yes or no. And she's far more likely to go, no, not really. So um, one of the biggest, biggest things in terms of being successful with women is to ask a much higher percentage of open-ended questions. And as we go into detail in some of the other videos I'll link you to right now, um, with really attractive girls, it's so, ridiculously rare, so ridiculously rare, that some guy can actually ask even a handful of good open-ended questions. And then when she starts talking, actually listen to her talk for five minutes without interrupt to say, I drive a BMW, I do yoga too, I do it, I do it. Um, I mean, when you listen to guys on dates with hot girls, I mean, so many of them are just pathetic. Don't be one of them. Ask good open-ended questions and listen. And finally, number four is style. Now you've probably heard the word style and you're thinking, oh, I'm just gonna switch off and watch something else or watch one of his other videos. I strongly recommend you don't do that. Most guys, when I say most guys, I mean like, 95% of men in the Western countries just they don't know how to dress to attract women. They just do not know how to dress. They don't understand fit. They don't understand colors. They don't understand how to dress for a certain occasion. And even the small percentage who do understand fit and style, nearly always, and this is, is very typical of guys who go to stylists or learn from fashion magazines, they do dress stylishly, but they just try too freaking hard. And they go on a date with this girl who they really like, and she can tell by the way they're dressed that he's put so much effort, he cares so much about succeeding on this date. So most guys, even if they understand the basics of style, they don't understand the psychology of dating. And remember, I repeat this like a broken down record women are much much smarter than you in terms of reading social signals knowing when you're lying knowing what's really going on knowing what you're thinking so if you go on a date and you've got you know an iron shirt or let alone a jacket and pocket squares she knows you're trying your guts out to impress her and get into her pants or make you a girlfriend and you just it's like it's hopeless it'd be like you're a terrible poker player you're a terrible negotiator if that's how you go on dates what you need to do is dress casually not try too hard i mean just when i go on dates it's basically a case of a t-shirt that fits me it's not fancy it's just a plain color and jeans that are generally dark denim um, they're not fancy, I don't have Versace or gunshot wounds or rips or anything. And then just a very simple pair of trainers, which is usually black. That's all I wear on a date. But if I wear a t-shirt that really fits me in the right colors, jeans that really fit me in the right colors, and trainers that are low key, but stylish, you know, I can look like I'm an incredibly stylish guy whilst not trying hard at all. That's one of the key psychological things of dating. You don't wanna look like you're trying too hard because then the woman says, okay, I'm not sleeping with him for a long time or I think he's too keen, I'm, I don't like him anymore. So you've got to understand the psychology of dating if you wanna succeed. And also, if you happen to have a really athletic, hunky body, you wanna be careful about flaunting that too much on a date, particularly if it's a beautiful girl. Again, it's gonna make it look like you're trying too hard. You're a bit desperate and women are very, very good at reading that. Don't wear a skin tight 
white t-shirt or, or a quite a strong fitted t-shirt if you're quite an athletic guy because again women will read this and uh, some of them will get sexually turned on by it there's no doubt but some of the really beautiful ones are like, oh he's trying a bit hard to impress me with his muscles so yeah i can't overstate the importance of dressing to suit your body type, your colorings, make sure everything fits, but also make sure you're not trying too hard, whether it's trying to be too stylish or fancy or trying to show off your muscles or, or trying to show off your money, which a lot of successful guys tend to do. So there you go. The only four tips you need to nail a hot date. I, you know, without showing off, I can't tell you how much I would have paid to have this information 20, let alone 30 years ago. It would have completely and utterly changed my life. So I, I hope you take these four tips seriously. Try to apply them. Watch some of the other videos we've linked you to. As I say, if you want to get good with women and improve rapidly, what you need to do is you need to get really good at touch, eye contact, body language, reading women's signals, understanding women's psychology, being able to project the correct energy or vibe into a given situation, and most importantly of all, elite level conversation skills. So that when you start talking to a girl, whether it's a cold approach or you're introduced by friends or you just meet her off Tinder or you're on a date with her, so that when you have to to carry a conversation you are really good really confident you connect with her quick and once you can connect with a girl really smoothly it makes it so much easier and smooth to actually start escalating sometimes even escalating quite quickly towards kissing and sex so yeah four tips to make dates rock even if you're nervous and you haven't had sex for a long time hope you guys found this video please hit like subscribe if you want to get coaching from me there'll be a link below where you can click on a link and come onto a webinar with me and one of my gorgeous female trainers anyway cheers from james at social coach i'll see you in the next video ciao Hey, so if you want to find out more on similar topics, click over to the left here. And if you want a fantastic free gift from us, click over to the right there.